to show you how to create an iMovie and then put it on the iPod Touches so that um, your students can listen to their classmates' books that they've read. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Photo Booth and you're going to go to Edit, Auto Flip New Items, make sure that's checked. Then you're going to have the kids take pictures of the book, their book. For instance, here, the cover, and it's okay if their fingers show, their hands show. Get it as centered as possible and hold it as steady as possible. And then, you know, if the page is like this, they can take the single page. If it's like this and they can fit it, then maybe the double page. If not, you know, the writing is print is small, you might want to get closer up so that the other students can read along with it. So now they're in the tray down here in um, Photo Booth. You're going to exit out of Photo Booth. Okay. And then you're going to go to iMovie. Down here, double click, I have it open. Here is Evie who already read her book. Um, I can just show you, you would say, um, Project Library, I'm sorry, Project Library, and uh, we're going to say File, New Project. You also see that it's Command N. You're going to give it a name, you know, probably the name of the book. Um, I'll just say Alexander. And we're not going to pick a theme or anything. We're just going to click Create. So here it is. Um, so what I would start with is on the world right here. Start here. Bring up the um, background that you want. Then go on Text. And we'll just pick Centered here. And you're going to just drop that right over. Not next. You see where the green line is? And drop it right over. Okay, and then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to put the name of the book. And then down here, I'm actually going to click and erase what's there. And put red by Mona. Like that. And I'm going to say done. And then I'm going to take, this is Evie, and she read her book, and I'm just going to take, well, we, I've already edited this, edited out the bad parts, but, so I'm going to take all this, that she read the book, oops, and you can see that, um, she didn't read Alexander, she actually read uh, a different book, but, so we would take the parts that we want, if we want to edit out some um, you can find YouTube videos to show you how to edit. I'm not going to show you how to do that here. And we're going to click on the camera. And we're going to go to, oh, that's right. Her book was about mail carriers. So we're going to go down to Photo Booth here. And we're going to take this. Now, before you can drop in the pictures, or the first thing you should do when you open iMovie is go to iMovie over here. Click on Preferences. And make sure this Show Advanced Tools is enabled. Um, that will give you um, the capabilities that you need to do this. So then you're going to click and you're going to drag this. Now you see the green line. We don't want it there. We want it right here. So we're going to put it here and you see the big green the circle with the plus sign. Now I'm going to put it here and now I get all these. Replace, insert, cutaway, picture in picture, side by side, green screen, blue screen. So if you want to do a green screen project, this is how you do it. You would tape the kids in front of a green screen and then drop in the picture set or videos that you want. So you could do, for this project, you could do picture in picture or cutaway. I prefer to do cutaway because that way if the kids weren't looking at the camera, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to click on cutaway. And here it is. And now I can move this like this. And she says... Or she, we can listen to her. 
Evie. Bring your mail. Many people in. So now I have to find the one that matches her. This is the one that goes next, many people, and so I'm going to drop it in. You've got to be careful where that green line is. I'm going to say cut away, and then I'm going to click on this, make it yellow, and then get this double arrow going and butt these two right up to each other. This takes some practice, but you quickly can get the hang of this. So I'm going to move this back a little. I'm going to move this, okay, and then... There you go. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is it has the Ken's, Ken Burn effects going. That's the default. So you're going to double click on here. Oops, no, nope, that's wrong. You're going to single click on here. You're going to click on this blue right here. And you want to uh, cropping Ken Burn's rotation. You're going to just click on fit. And actually, you can just keep clicking on these fit. And then done. And then you do that for the whole thing then you're going to take uh, you're going to say um, share and we're going to say um, export movie and when we get this since we want to put it on the iPods this is the only one medium that has it I'm going to put it right on my desktop it's called Alexander now I'm going to export it. It should go pretty quickly because we don't have a lot of content here. But if you do a whole book and it's five or more minutes, you might have quite a bit. So you're just going to click export. And now I'm just going to exit out of iMovie. Fire up iMovie. Put iMovie. I'm going to find this on my desktop. Here it is up here, Alexander. Now with the kids, I had it so the movie was each on their own computer and I put it on a flash drive and then took the flash drive plug it into my computer. I have iTunes already open. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click right here as movies and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drop it in here and uh, there it is. And then what I do is I plug in the iPod Okay, so here it is it says Patrick's iPod. Um, so I have my sync to, to uh, Dropbox. So if you have that, you need to click Cancel. You don't have to worry about any of this. Just go to Movies over here. And now you're going to take this. You're going to click on it and see it says Evie delivering your mail. Then click Add to. And then here's the device that I want to add it to. Okay, and it's preparing and updating, and it will put it on the iPod. And it was that fast. And you can keep doing that. You can just click here, click here, click here, and you can keep on putting them on. You don't have to do them one at a time. The, it'll catch up up here. So now, once you have your books onto the iPod, or iPad from iTunes. You're just going to go right here to videos, click on it, and then all here in, in your queue should be the videos you want. You're just going to click on them and press play.